All right, uh, starting it is 2023-11 for November-17. Happy Friday, Armor Reforger 1.0 out today, out of early access. Uh, I was surprised by these news. Uh, apparently there's a couple of helicopters for us to try out. Uh, let's check it out. Um, Okay, get the audio set. Let's see. All right, let's try the training. Let's start from the beginning here. All right, we got the wasp. Look around. A resolution at the right spot uh, looks a little odd. Render scale, there you go. I want to 100%. So just leave that at the fault. I like the bird sounds already. Okay, I can hold down uh, mouse button to zoom in. Can use the scroll wheels to go faster or slow down. Hold shift to run, the usual stuff, you know. Can jump with space. Z is prone. Quick, uh, disable the preview here. Preview here in OBS. Space to vault. All right. Some pretty good animation. Okay, juice movement speed uh, with the mouse button. Okay, press F. I can hold shift to slide down. I can toggle by pressing it twice. And that's that, that's movement, okay. Game does feel a little bit, uh, starts getting a little bit choppy at certain times. Um, maybe it's the frames per second. I mean, let's limit it at 60 and see how that goes. I'll put this back to four as it was in the default. People doing push ups. Basic driving. Oh, helicopter basics. That's what we want. Once we first, we'll do the Jeep. See how that's feeling now.
Odd uh, shaped icon that uh, it's like a little vertical bar with a with circle half circle in it. All right. Okay, and I guess uh, that indicates that it's going to be some turning. a driving test. What happens if I hit one of these things? Let's hit it. See how the physics are doing. Okay. Uh, pretty solid, that one. How about here? Okay, that one works. Tires are solid. Oh, okay. I hit it harder and it actually... Uh... <laughs> okay. Uh, we clipped through, but we managed to get out. Those are pretty solid, the tires. It was pretty weighty. First the, to the spot just behind you. Okay. I already have free look on. Maybe I just did it... Uh without thinking about it, because that's what I usually do in Arma 3. I press out twice to enable 3 look. Okay, back to following the road. Switching to a dirt road now. Very bumpy feeling driving this the camera. Maybe it's a setting. Let's take a quick look. Vehicle driving assistance. What happens if I go to none? Oh, then I have to actually shift by pressing Q. All right. Then you can actually shift. Interesting. That's four gears, huh? I like that. I like that you can shift. That's cool. But for now, I'm just going to leave it... Uh... ...with the regular controls. I wouldn't be surprised if there is no setting for the bobbing, the the, the head bobbing when you're, in when you're in vehicles. They probably keep it on so that it's harder to shoot from vehicles. Okay. Now I can do the heavy vehicles. I want a helicopter. Oh, is that a little butterfly there? I want a helo. I thought I saw a helicopter thing here. Maybe I didn't. Uh, here we go. Helicopter basics. Here we go. Huey. Two choppers, I think a Huey and a Mill Me something or other. Okay, we're dressed like a pilot.
Nice clunky sound effect. Um, all right, I got in. It's just it's still telling me to get in. Let's try to get out and get in again. Oh, that's co-pilot. Okay, never mind. I can't seem to interrupt the animation once I get it started. Uh, it keeps going. All right, piling the choppers on the right side. Unless perhaps it's a British chopper, but uh, I'm not sure about that. If the English airplanes uh, flip things uh, around as well, I suspect they do because the Spitfire... Uh, Propeller uh, spins the other way from the opposite way from the P-51. Start engine R. All right. Uh, hopefully they have uh, earplugs. Hold R. Okay. Pretty uh, basic looking... Uh, dashboard here in the cockpit all right you can move around with the mouse okay hey how's it going Raz got a Huey and armor reforger reach 1.0 today here we go Oh, the suspension felt pretty good. I pressed Alt twice. Okay, if I, if I don't press Alt twice, I can control the mouse, I think. But I press Alt twice to release the control so it's camera. Is it control to go down? Yep, it is. See, th things are alright, Raz. Uh, Friday, video game day. How are things with you? Alright, feeling pretty good so far, like armor helicopters usually feel. Okay, I'm increasing the collective here. And let's point the nose down a bit and try to pick up some... Uh, some speed. There's not the deafening roar of the engine, so don't need the, the earplugs. It's good. At this point. Feeling pretty good. Picking up so, something, someone for some lunch for break. Nice. Okay, they want me to go to 100 meters or 300 feet as it appears in the altitude indicator. Where's the altitude? It's a pretty basic uh, cockpit uh, dashboard here. I mean, it, they just left uh, early access. They're in 1.0, but, uh, but they're still a work in progress, you know. Anti-torque, okay. Feels a little sluggish. But I haven't really flown Hueys much. I've flown uh, the, the Little Birds and the Blackhawks in armor. Alright, they actually have animated... Uh, Pedals and animated uh, stick cycle. This is the cyclic here, and this is the collective. I don't know if you've flown uh, choppers before, Raz, other than video games, but uh, I've only flown on both uh, choppers and and um, 
airplanes in video games. No, I have a couple of airplanes in real life, but I don't take off or anything, you know. Don't know if they have turbulence and uh, stuff like that uh, simulated here, but I do see like that the the actual angle of the blades change. Except from bad company, <laughs> all right. What's the flight plan tonight? What are you gonna be flying at the a jetliner? Maybe I'll play some uh, Microsoft Flight Sim tonight. I've been thinking about uh, doing Microsoft Flight Sim night streams. You know, it's more chill. Baron Twin Engine? Fantastic, just like real IRL. The Huey in Armor of Forger 1.0. Feeling pretty good. using my regular armor 3 uh, techniques of flying this thing and it seems to be working So having flown the real one and the Baron twin engine, that's the built that's the one that, that's built in, that's the default airplane and Microsoft Flight Simulator, right? Having flown both, do you think the, the the Microsoft Flight Simulator one is pretty good? Oh look at that beautiful the the waves coming in there. That's so cool. The graphics are are, are really shining in this. Oh oh a little bit too drop a little bit too fast there. Auto hover C, okay. So there's auto hover in this. Okay, now try to land on the helipad I took off from to set down safely, reduce the horizontal speed to under 10 kilometers per hour and descend steadily, keeping the helicopter parallel to the ground. Okay. Highly accurate, awesome, Raz. It's good to know. Always good to know that uh, from uh, someone who has experience in both the real life one. And... The game's probably a little too loud right now. Let's. Um... Okay. Oops. Shit. Oops. Shit. Okay. Oh, drops pretty quickly, this thing. Look at that little antenna in the back. It actually moves. That is pretty cool. The little antenna on the tail. Look at the leaves coming up. That's, ch that's nice. Do anything in IRL's older model. Like, so it's older, it's not like the glass cockpit in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Copy. Cool, man. Here's another idea for another Instagram post. If you want to take a picture of the co whole cockpit of the one you fly IRL, and then a Microsoft Flight Simulator cockpit, compare, contrast, you know. Love seeing that stuff. Let's take off again and then let's land again to see what the sound is like from within the cockpit. All 
All right, nice little sound. Slap danger of R. Awesome, Raz. <laughs> All right, look at this pilot. Very happy with his first flight on the armor of Forger Huey. Bit of trouble balancing the audio in this. Is there an option for ambient sound and uh, volume in the audio? And the cringe. No ambient. Get those push ups going. Okay, what else? Let's hear. This is the basic, this is the movement, this is the movement basics. Uh, it's the firing range. Let's try the map reading. Hey, Ar Arthur, Arma Reforger in 1.0 uh, release. Maybe it's time to get it, man. I'm just playing this couple of choppers. I mean, it's not finished, but it's a 1.0, you know, so I think they believe it's uh, looking pretty good. How are you? Do you want to play something in the afternoon? I could do Elden Ring, I could do Valheim, I could do Reforger if you want, I could even do Arma Antistasi. Alright, let's get a quinter of the items you can use with your map. Alright, let's open the map. Military maps are topographic representations of land, of an area of land and its features. They're divided into grids and the horizontal and vertical lines, known as Eastings and Northings. All right, sounds good, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna have lunch probably in about an hour. So I'm doing this. I just saw the Armor Reforger 1.0 release of Chopper, so I had to load it up and try it, you know. Uh, but in the afternoon, uh, in about, uh, I don't know, two and a half hours, I'm ready to play something else. Hope your week is going well and that your knee is recovering. Select the highlighted compass icon. All right, here's the compass. All right. A compass is a useful device for determining cardinal directions and calculating azimuths. Its needle will always align with magnetic north. The angles of the compass are always provided in degrees as well as milliradians. North corresponds to 0, east 90, south 180, west 270. On military compasses, markings are coded in self-luminous materials, allowing them to be read in low light or nighttime conditions. All right. Now we're going to click the ruler. Can I make the mouse bigger? In armor, if you double-click on it, it gets bigger. And this one doesn't look like it can. You also have, like, the watch here. Okay, here's the protractor. The, a protractor is an indispensable instrument for map-based navigation and coordinating actions such as fire support. Its measurements are given in both degrees and milliradians for greater accuracy. Being able to use a protractor is considered a necessary soldiering skill. Once you're ready to continue, close your map. Okay, there's the protractor. I guess that's for calling uh, you know, our artillery support, telling someone to go to a different uh, direction and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not sure how to use this, so I guess we're going to have to learn. Okay, once you're ready, press... Uh, oh, there's a little icon thing. Oh, look, you can draw. I think only only lines at this point. Is that right? A little confusing. I'm just used to the armor one. Ooh, custom marker. Ooh, look at this. Hello, world. Okay. My comment on this would be, it'd be nicer if the, the typeface was like a handwritten typeface that looks like handwriting. Um, so the way I made this appear is I d clicked on the pencil and double clicked. Ah, oh, nice. You can put arrows, maneuvers. 
a bunch of icons, different color text. I uh, can rotate it. Oh, cool. Okay. I like to just draw freehand, you know me, so I, I, I miss uh, the armor thing that you hold control and you can draw freehand, I think. That's a better system in my opinion because it's, you know, drawing freehand is a very basic human thing to do. Um, objectives, alright. Even if you think you know your position, it's good practice to orientate yourself using salient Features nearby. Take out your compass. You should have one in your in inventory. That's okay. Like an armor. Okay. You can right click once or you can press and hold. No, press and hold. You, you zoom in. Right click once. Next, rotate your compass until the azimuth angles is 13 degrees. You should see a loud house in the distance. That's 13 degrees. Uh, there it is. All right. Lighthouses are useful landmarks. Their proximity to the sea as well as the fact that they're always marked on a map can help you pinpoint your location. Turn to Nazma for reading of 236, where you should be able to see the church. Okay, 236 is going to be about this way. That's the church there, so there you go, 236. Okay, they have their own symbol on the map. Easily identifiable turn, identifiable. turn your compass to the azimuth angle so that it is aligned at 260. Okay, there it is. You are identified in your map. That's the settlements. Well, let's uh, close the protractor. I'm not even sure where I am, like here or something. One last location, two Niner Niner Military Communications Tower. Okay. There it is. Okay. Let's try to point point pinpoint exactly where you are, where you are. Open your map. Okay. Custom map markers can be placed on the map at any time. These may be private or public. Private markers are visible only to yourself, whereas public markers are visible to other players. To add a marker, move the cursor to a position on the map where you wish to place it. Open map context menu, select marker and custom marker. System map custom. Okay. Okay, I think this is the menu they're talking about. Oh, contest menu, right click, okay. Left click. Le double click, okay. Okay, general. I don't see where it said custom marker on the thing. Place private R. All right, let's just put a little flag there. This is my current position, main operating base, arm. Oh, hello world. No, this is uh, something I was just writing. Where's the sun? Sun's that way. What time is it? It is uh, 10. So it's morning, so uh, that's east, sunrise in the east, that's north. We're in the northern tip of the island near a lighthouse, I think.
my house there. No worries, no worries, Raz. Okay, north of me is the lighthouse. I'm probably around here, but I don't see this town. Let's walk over a bit. There's a road there. I think I'm here. I think I'm at Wick Point. But Maybe I'm around here. Oh, deployment position. No, that's something else. I'm going to guess around here. I'm going to guess I'm around here. Arleville Heights. How far is that church? Pretty close. Is there a road nearby? No. It's a little gully there. I'm going to guess I'm around uh, here. Context menu, custom marker. I'll just put this regular thing, place private. Yes, find grid 023017 and create another marker there. 023017. So here's 023. Here is zero two three zero one seven. There it is. All right. So double click. Let's put a marker here. Let's put a, a waypoint marker. Place private. Is that wrong? Zero two three zero one seven. I hear you, Raz. I miss them, too. I'm going to start flying again soon. Uh, I have to get off my butt and get my schedule set. Maybe they want this type of marker. 023017. 022023017. That's the grid marker, man. What's going on? Maybe it's, maybe they want it to be this one. There you go. Okay, it's the one above. Okay, so it starts counting uh, 0 and 7 is what's above it. And 0, 2, 3 is what's to the left of it. Above and to the left. Okay. Moving on. Head to the location just marked on your map. You can take a vehicle to get there quicker. Or maybe even a helo, huh? Okay, so it's basically directly west um we're gonna pass this town there's signal hill up there uh, i'm just gonna head directly west All right. uh, on the way let's see if there's a road yeah we're gonna hit all of the i'm just gonna drive i'm just gonna plow through west to to see what uh driving off road is like in these things Oh, wrong button. I pressed spacebar. <laughs> All 
anyways, you see the little animation he had a little bit of a finesse. He did a little a little skip and jump out the other side of the car. All right, some Hummer thing. Off we go. Can I get my compass while I'm driving? Yes, I can. Fantastic. We're just going to plow through going west. Very bumpy. By the way, in the Arma Reforger, there is an option for you to... Uh, if you go to control settings, and you scroll down... Where is it? Um, was it control settings? I think it was something else. Maybe gameplay. I think gameplay. You scroll down a bit. Vehicle driving assistance. Full, partial, and none. Okay, so with none, you have to actually freaking... Then, then the little gear icons appear in the bottom there, bottom left. Then if Q and E... I'm in neutral right now. Now I'm in reverse. And then I'm going to go to reverse. And then pressing forward when you set reverse, the, you, you set the gear to reverse, so you go in reverse. And I'm going to put a uh, neutral. Nothing's going to happen. And I'm going to put drive. Okay, and this particular, the Hummer is an automatic uh, gear shift, I guess, but the, 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 there wasn't this other G little Jeep, and that one had four gears, actually. So, interesting that you can actually change this. I'm not sure what partial does. Um, I'm just going to leave it... Uh, I'll just leave it full driving control right now. Well, let's try partial. Let's, let's see what it does. So I like that you can change gears, that's cool. I'm just gonna plow through here. We're heading west. Let's see if there's a collision modeling on uh, bushes and stuff. Doesn't look like it over there. Sorry. The space bar uh, handbrake? I think it is. Okay, I think I'm just, I should be on this road here. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going west. I'm uh, gonna go past a few buildings here, then over in high field, and the position I marked is right next to this little building. All right. Nice fruit trees. I think it's that shack up there. We're just gonna drive straight through. Farmers are gonna be pretty angry that I'm running over the driving over the crops and destroying the fences, but I want to check uh, what the if there's any been out any updates to the uh, destruction modeling in the game. Okay, um I think this is here, so it's going to be a little bit forward and to the left. The right. I think this is the location. Okay, good. That's the basics. For more information on map reading and navigation in general, consult your field manual. All right, let's press H uh, and take a look at the field manual. Navigation, compass, protractor. Okay, it doesn't give you much uh, information about this. So we're just going to have to look it up on the internet. Unless there's a way to scroll down that I'm missing. Oh, here we go. Land navigation. It's under the compass thing. 
scan the horizon, identify two or three reference values. That's going to be the triangulation, I guess. Mark the locations on the map. Take an azimuth reading from one of these known positions using a compass. Convert the azimuth to a back azimuth by using a protractor and drawing a line from reference features draws back towards the edge of the map. By the way, if you need a compass that shows back azimuth on it, I actually made one of these. Uh, I think you can find it here. Uh, I have one printed uh, and, and, and stuck on my wall here, which is how I can uh, quickly see what the back azimuth is. Basically, azimuth is like the bearing, what you're looking at, the direction you're looking at, and back azimuth is the opposite bearing from it. So like 180, the back azimuth of 180 is uh, 360 or zero, depending on which one you prefer. All right. Then you repeat steps three and four for a second and possible, possibly third reference. The point where these lines intersect delineates your current position. That's pretty cool. Should we try it? Let's just double check. Uh, let's see where we are here. Um, we need to find landmarks, though. Okay, there I see a tower on the on the distance. What's my distance setting at? Draw distance two thousand five hundred meters. Let's put it up to I don't know. Is maximum uh, make my computer chug? Let's see. Okay, I see one landmark. We don't need advanced movement mod for this, so uh, it's built in. I don't know if you can actually climb onto bigger objectives, but... Anyway, I, I'll do this later. And let me just let me leave this at the default setting. I don't know. I don't know if uh, I like to leave things at default when I'm trying something new. Okay, let's see what else do we have we got here in training. Actually, I think we've done all the training. We did the vehicle. We did a uh, helicopter. We didn't do the shooting, but uh, we've we've done that before in armor, so we don't have to do that. Look at this this little ambulance here. This is cool. Can't get into this particular one. Guy right, doing push-ups, just like heavy vehicles, perhaps. Base tour, building support structures. Let's try building support structures. Okay, you still have the armor thing where you can code control and then use the mouse to get lower. Nice little butterfly flying over there. Flying in an odd manner. Okay, start building. Place a light vehicle maintenance point. Okay, uh, light vehicle maintenance point. And I put it like uh, right here. Left control, shift, rotate. All right. All right. As you can see, the support structure only has found its foundations. More construction works required, and you have to do it. Continue by extending the build mode. Uh, extending the build mode. Place and keep placing. No, cancel placing. Support structure actually had the whole thing, from what I can see. Defensive position, sandbags, camouflage, yeah, dragon's tooth. Okay. To start building a placement preview, you need an entrenching tool. There's stranded issue and ought to be in your inventory. Make sure you have it 
ready and at hand. Okay. Inventory. Um, is it I? It's tab. All right. Here we go. M19 or 67 entrenching tool. Compact, foldable entrenching tool used by US soldiers. Okay. Uh, it's zero here in the inventory. What is this thing? Morphine injector. Have a radio. Tourniquet. And bandages. Map. Another morphine thing. Okay, this is what's on the legs. Okay. And I have a flashlight. Okay, so it's zero for this. Press zero. With the entrenching tool equipped, use the build action on the placement preview to complete the construction. How do I equip it? All right, there it is. Um, all right, you hold F and he actually builds stuff. It digs. Man, you're gonna have to like dig stuff. Okay, They're really a soldier simulator, huh? All right, outstanding. The new addition to your base will come in handy. Thing is, we're also running a little low on construction supplies. Thankfully, we have secured a supply depot nearby. Let's go get some supplies. From there. All right. Well, oh, it's a lumbering thing. Big lumbering thing. I'm gonna switch to uh, gameplay. Let's see if it actually goes faster if I have the uh, vehicle driving assistance full. I don't think so, because I only have... Oh, now it's going faster. No? Maybe? Load a hundred supplies. All right, loading up. All right. Want me to get rid of this? With the entrenching talk has a pretty. You know, dedicated guy. This uh, he he will he will get rid of it alone with his little shovel, his little uh, M one nine or whatever it's called in trench. This uh, trench creation uh, digging tool. Some boots in the ground action here. Okay, that's gone. Good. Return to the truck. Want to jump? Left the engine on. All right, back to the base.
boxes, trucks, armor. Okay, let's turn off the engine this time. I don't want to keep hearing this uh, bloody engine on. Reminds me of living in New York City that I wanted to throw things at cars that uh, left their engine on, uh, engines on outside. Okay. What now? Okay. Okay, this is the base building thing. I'm not going to worry about it too much, but this is the the way that it's changed from what I remember is you put it down and then you actually have to go with your entrenching tool that's when you put it down that's the planning and then you have to actually go with someone and uh and build quite a onerous thing but i guess if you want to simulate uh, being a so soldier there's going to be a lot of hard work you know if you let go then it uh you have to start again All right, now I got an arsenal. Is there any new weapons here? Good M21. Um, M16 of the scope. Tracers. Smoke grenades, regular grenades. Artillery scope. Oh, by snipers. Oh, cool. Put that on. This is for the M16. Let's put the M16 without the scope here and see if uh, I can pl put it. Uh, let's try to put it on the one of the grenade launcher. Can I do that? Doesn't seem like it. Cool.
we can look at some of the details here. All right, that's uh, the training. There's uh, the Game Master one. 64 players. I think it, I don't think it's P versus C. I think this is P versus P. P versus P versus C. But there's a uh, conflict, and I think this is co op. If I remember right. Oh, Game Master is the one you can use like a Zeus thing. Scenarios. Combat Ops, that's the one. It's funny that it's not here. Oh, here you go. Combat Ops, really big over here. I totally missed it. Infiltrate Arlen, strike hard, strike fast, and reach the extraction in this dynamic cooperative game mode. This is the one that I'm going to be playing most, probably. I'm going to take a small little break, and uh, I'll be right back, uh, and then... Not long after, I'm going to take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Right back. Not, look at, not long after, I'll take a lunch break. All right, and with that, people, um, I actually have to go for lunch now, but I'll be back later in the afternoon, possibly playing something of uh, Mr. R2. Thanks, Raz and R2, for dropping by and saying hi. Uh, um, going to run the outro and uh, leave it here for now. When I come back uh, later, I might start up some Armor Reforger and see what the combat ops is looking like. Um, Happy Friday, and see you again soon. By the way, the 
no the the same command that works in armor for getting a reforger uh to maintain pause when you out tab from the game uh, works uh in in reforger the same command uh, it's called it's a little dash in steam you go to uh, you right click on the game go to properties and then command line uh um uh, launch options you you put dash no pause and that will keep the game uh in focus it's good to know all right peace out see you again soon people just the quick check of feature streaming i think is working if you stream it we'd uh raid but uh negative <laughs>